Welcome to Afternoon Voice. You're watching Top 25 Headlines for the day. In the early trading, Indian currency rupee has gained 6 paise for 82.34 against the US dollar. COVID-19 cases have increased and it sees a rise of 1,946 new cases in single day, taking the country's tally to more than 5 crore. Ahead of Diwali festival, prices of LPG gas cylinder and food grains has increased in India. People who are travelling in native places to other parts of Maharashtra might face issues as prices have increased of the state transport and private buses. Results of the Congress president will be out soon in which entire Congress is waiting for its next president as they are expecting any one from two of the candidates, Malik Arjun Karge and Shashi Tharoor. In Mumbai, the most oldest different services on the cart won't be working at Diwali festival. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi resumes at Bharat Jodo Yatra in Chagi village in Andhra Pradesh. In today's finance updates, Sensex has reached more than 300 points and Nifty goes up to more than 90 points at early trade. Ministry of Home Affairs has ordered National Investigation Agency to probe in the matter of Momeenpur violence, which occurred on October 9 in West Bengal. State transport buses workers will be receiving Diwali bonus in Maharashtra approximately for a piece 5,000. In Maharashtra, on the occasion of Diwali, a heritage buses will be started for the people from October 22. In most of the parts of Maharashtra, due to heavy rains, of farmers have faced a huge losses in the farming. In the digital era, TikTok, an application can be streamed only by the adults. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Gujarat for a two-day visit and might dedicate approximately 15,000 crore to its new projects in the state. In the Defence Expo 2022, a new aircraft has been launched, which is HTT-40, a trainer aircraft made in India which costs of Rs 500 crore has been built with 70% indigenous content which consists of a feature of running change of pilots and hot refueling. Ahead of Gujarat polls, a huge tug of political war is seen between Ahmadmi Party and Bharatiya Janata Party. India might not play Asia Cup 2023. In Himachal Pradesh election polls, Bharatiya Janata Party submits approximately 62 candidate names. In the Gyanwapi Mosque case, Allahabad High Court might hear on the plea submitted by the Muslim community. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said a new airbase at Disa in North Gujarat will emerge as effective for the country's security. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said export of defence products has increased eight times in the last eight years. In Gurgram, a dead body of a woman was found in a suitcase after which police has registered a case and in search of people involved in this crime. Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde and Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis paid a tribute to those people who lost their lives in the 26-11 at Mumbai terror attack at the Memorial Museum for the victims in Taj Hotels. Supreme Court has requested Delhi High Court for an early hearing in the plea of which it seeks an independent inquiry on Jamia violence case. Congress presidential polls. Congress leader Malik Arjun Kharge is being confirmed as the party's new president with maximum votes. These were the top headlines for the day. Stay tuned for more updates.